So during 10 minute math, we just looked at what's an angle and we looked at what they need. It's the space between two rays or lines that come together. You guys just drew three examples. Almost everybody who showed me their white, not, not almost, everybody who did show me their whiteboard had theirs drawn um, and had angles correctly. So thank you for that. Uh, Alex J, can you read today's goal for me, please? Identifying angles as acute, right, or obtuse, and using those angles to categorize triangles. Very good. The triangles part is going to come tomorrow, okay? We just decided with virtual learning and the way things have gone and we've had to do lessons, it'd be better to try to not cram that all into one day, okay? So tomorrow we will look at triangles and categorizing and classifying those triangles using angles. Today, we're just gonna focus on acute, right, and obtuse angles, all right? Um, and being able to identify those. So before we do that, we are going to watch a quick little video about it. Then we'll actually talk about the requirements and do that little activity with the pencils that I was talking about. So let me go ahead and open the video. Hang on, before I play it, I need to. Angles are everywhere, yeah. Uh, angles are everywhere, yeah. Uh, angles are everywhere, yeah. Uh, angles are everywhere. Huh. What's an angle? Well, all I gotta say, an angle is a space between two rays that have a common endpoint or vertex or two intersecting lines or line segments. Angles are measured in degrees. There are four kinds with these properties. At 90 degrees, you see a right angle. It makes up the corner of a square or rectangle, yes. And you see the drawing of a right angle there? Yeah, it's marked with a square. And the right angle doesn't have to face right. Any 90 degree angle fits the type. Now an angle that measures less than 90 is an acute angle they could get tiny. And an angle that's obtuse measures more than 90 degrees and they could be huge. And two rays that come together to form a straight line is still an angle that measures 180 degrees. It's called a straight angle. They stay straight so you know they'll never get tangled. Yeah, angles are everywhere. Right angle makes the corner of a square. Smaller than the right angle is acute. Larger than the right angle is obtuse. Yeah, angles are everywhere. Right angle makes the corner of a square. Smaller than the right angle is acute. Larger than the right angle is obtuse. We use angles to identify geometric shapes. That's the way they're defined. Like all rectangles and all of the squares have four right angles in case you're not aware. And triangles have three angles. And if one's right, that's a right triangle. And we could talk about the other shapes by how many angles they have. For instance, let's just take a shape with five angles. That's a pentagon and one with six angles angles is a hexagon now come on look around anywhere you step angles are used by engineers and architects right angles for walls acute and obtuse angles for the spiral staircases and the roofs the stapler it makes an acute angle you see but obtuse when i open books that i read the tent makes an angle fashion designers use angles to get a certain type of look so watch for different angles of all different types, whether in your math class or your everyday life. Yeah, yeah. Angles are everywhere. Right angle makes the corner of a square. Smaller than the right angle is acute. Larger than the right angle is obtuse. Yeah, angles are everywhere. Right angle makes the corner of a square. Smaller than the right angle is acute. Larger than the right angle is obtuse. All right, so 
let's reflect on that video and have a further discussion. It's always happening for me. Get me out of this. Thank you. Okay, so there's three types of angles. The first we have an acute angle, all right, which is smaller than a right angle and is less than 90 degrees. An acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. So everybody go ahead and pick up your pencils like this, and I want you to take them. All right, you're gonna put the erasers together. Those are like the points, and you're gonna make an acute angle. So it looks like this, it's small. A way to think of that is like, oh, it's small, it's acute, right? It's less than 90 degrees, okay? I wanna make it clear, <coughs> excuse me. A 90 degree angle looks like this. A right angle looks like this. Acute angles are anything less than that. It does not have to be really closed like this. This angle right here is slightly less than 90, so that's an acute angle, all right? So it could be anywhere from here to here to here to here to acute, 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 all the way until it's 90 degrees, and that's a right angle, okay? So anything less than 90 is acute, acute, it's small, okay? A 90 degree angle makes a perfect square and is called a right angle. Now, as you saw in the video, a lot of the time, a right angle will be marked with a little square that looks like this. All right, that's a clue. Because a right angle has to be exactly 90 degrees. It cannot be more, it cannot be less. So when we're looking at this with these little pencils on my camera here, 90 degrees, it's exactly like this. Straight up and down forms a perfect L if it is even slightly this way, it's not a right angle. It might look a lot like one. So that's why they have to put that square in it. It is not a right angle if it doesn't have that square, okay? So it's gotta look perfectly like this. It's gotta be perfectly straight up and down, all right? Everybody use your pencils right now and make a right angle. Make a right angle. Nice job, Alejandro. Good job, Christian. Nice job, Cynthia. Good job. I think Clay, I can, you're doing it. Yeah, I can. Okay. As you've got the window right behind you, Clay. So it's kind of hard to see you in the front. It's like a shadow. Thank you, CJ and Corbin. Nice job, Alex, Jay and Derek. All right. So the other thing that's important to note is it might be kind of tricky if it's rotated. So if you look at a right angle, it might look like this, right? And that's not, doesn't make that perfect L shape straight up and down but it still is 90 degrees and it still has that little square in it. So even if you rotate it all the way around, it doesn't matter. The degrees don't change. Whoops. The degrees don't change. Only the only thing changing is the actual shape of that angle. Okay. Or the actual rotation of the angle. So that that's a way of looking at it. Last one, we have obtuse and those are angles that are greater than 90 degrees. So everybody take your pencils back out again. We're gonna make that 90 degree angle you just had, that, that right angle. Everybody make your right angle like, it, like we just did where it's straight, perfect L. All right, and so a way to think of obtuse is it's bigger than that. So it's gonna be like, it's hard to open it and you're gonna pull it and it's gonna be obtuse is larger. It's more open, right? So you've got a 90 degree angle, that's a right angle. You're gonna open it up, obtuse, it's like pulling a lever almost to make a bigger angle that's greater than 90 degrees. So you have acute, right, and obtuse. Or if you switch the way you were looking at it, you could have acute, right, or obtuse. It does not matter which way the angle's facing, it's the degrees and how open or closed that angle is that makes it the specific type, type of angle. Okay, looking at our next slide here. As we move on further in the unit, we will work with measuring angles to their exact degree, okay? And we'll use a tool I'm holding it up on my camera called a protractor. Looks like this. It's got all the numbers and you actually measure angles to their exact angle. However, we're not gonna do that today. We're just looking at, can we tell it's less than 90, exactly 90 or more than 90 degrees, okay? So we will work with measuring angles, but we're not going that far today. What we are gonna do right now is I'm gonna call on you randomly and we're gonna practice identifying these 
as an acute angle, a right angle, or an obtuse angle. And I'm going to ask for you to explain to me why or how you know it is each one. Derek, we're going to start with you. Derek, this angle right here, number one, that I'm labeling number one, is that acute, right, or an obtuse angle? Acute. Now remember, acute is little, it's closed. It's acute. Is that a closed angle or is that an open angle? Open. Yeah, remember, look, 90 degrees is this. If it goes more than that, which it's going this way, it's greater than 90 degrees. What do we call an angle that's greater than 90 degrees? I'll go back uh, to the other chart. Obtuse. Obtuse, yep. So number one is obtuse. It's open. Obtuse, you'd have to open it up. Uh-oh, except I put obtuse. Obtuse. Number two, Alex J. What kind of angle is number two? Acute. Very good. It's closed. It's small. It's acute. It's acute. It's an acute angle. Number three, Christian. There's a big clue on this one. What kind of angle is that one? Right <coughs> angle. It's a right angle. And what is the clue that that's a right angle? It has a square in the two of the lines between them. Yeah, it has a square of the vertice or the vertex where the uh, two rays meet, right? Alejandro, number four, what kind of angle is that? Mm. What kind? Is it small and closed? Is it acute? Is it perfect 90 degrees with a square? Or is it more open? Acute. acute, very good. It's small and closed. It's acute. That's an acute angle. Number five, a seal. It's okay, we'll wait. What's number five, a seal? There's a big clue if we've been focused on the lesson that tells us what number five is. Somebody want to help her out? Christian, what kind of angle is that? Right angle. Right angle, and it's a right angle because it's got that little square. A seal, what kind of angle is number five? Right angle. And what is the clue that that's a right angle? That it has a square there. Yep, it has this little square to mark a right angle. Last one, Corbin. What's number six? Obtuse. Very good, it's obtuse. It's open, it's larger than 90 degrees. It is obtuse. Here is your chance to earn some more of those points. Right now, I have four people who did not participate in drawing their angles earlier. They did not draw angles when I asked you to draw angles. They have a chance to get those points right now. I'm going to ask you to draw a certain kind of angle, and you are going to show me on your whiteboard that angle. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds to draw it, and then I'm going to say one, two, three boards up. And when I say boards up, I want you to hold up your whiteboard or paper showing me that you did that kind of angle. Because right now I have four people who did not do this earlier and they did not get points. They have a zero for participation today. All right. First, I want you to draw a right angle for me. And, show, and when I say boards up in 30 seconds, show it to me. I want you to draw me a right angle. Ten seconds. All right, ready? One, two, three, show me your boards. 
Nice. I see a lot of people drew that little square. Look at that. So far, everybody who is on the list is getting their name taken off because they participated this time. Could have just done it the first time. Boards down. Boards down. Go ahead and erase it. Draw me an obtuse angle. Now, you, I want to see this, what happens with the first group. On the first group, there were three people next to each other, and they all drew, like, almost the exact same angle for obtuse. It was funny. So obtuse angle. 30 seconds. I will tell you boards up when I want you to show it. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, boards up. It happened again. If you look, everybody looking right now, look at Ying. Hold them up. No, keep them all up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Look at Ying, Alex J, CJ, Alejandro, and a seal. They almost all have the exact same angle drawn. That's funny. Okay, very good. Angles down. Go ahead and put your uh, boards down. We're going to do two more. Um, show me an acute angle. An acute, acute angle. Ten seconds. I'm asking you to show me your boards. Three, two, one, board. That's very good. Very good. Everyone, good job. All right, last one. Go ahead and clear your boards. Show me a different obtuse angle than the one you made the first time. Show me a different obtuse angle. 30 seconds, I'm asking you to show me your board. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, boards up. All right, nice work. Go ahead and clear your boards, put them down. I'm gonna talk you through today's assignment and I'm gonna be very specific about what your job is, okay? So it is on Canvas. It is called identifying angles, all right? And it says, identify and label, sorry, label each type of angle below. Be sure to number each answer. Use the chart below if you need help, all right? If you scroll down, there are six angles shown. You are going to answer all six of those questions, all right? So you're going to go to submit it. You're going to number one through six, and you are going to label what each type of angle is, all right? You need to make sure you label each type of angle, all right? I'm going to give you one more reminder that every angle that is less than 90 degrees is an acute angle, all right? So if you look at my chart, it does not have to look exactly like this one right here, all right? An acute angle could be close to 90 degrees but it's less and it is not marked with a square, okay? So keep that in mind. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have everybody stay in the main room with me. I'm gonna have you go complete the assignment. And then when you complete the assignment, we will let you know, hey, we got it. And I'll let you go work on some extra dream box today while you're waiting for reading, okay? This probably won't take you very long. You should have some extra time to do um, some extra math or some dream box today. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself and let you get to work. Please let us know when you turn yours in. Isn't it on math, right? Yep, it is math 
on Wednesday. Click on Wednesday math and it's called identifying angles. Okay.